It's time to face the truth. The media got this story wrong. They obsessed on this for three years. All this time, there was no evidence for it. It was just a conspiracy theory. Rachel Maddow, the most influential liberal TV host in the country, every single night misled millions of liberals into believing something that was totally false and there will be no media consequences for it. And that is extremely grave and serious. This is the saddest media spectacle I've ever seen since I began practicing journalism in 2005. And what makes it even sadder is to watch all of the people who vested their journalistic credibility into what proved to be a complete and total fraud and scam continue to try and cling to some vestige of credibility by continuing to spin conspiracy theories that are even more reckless and more unhinged than the ones to which we've been subjected for three years. The great journalist and writer Matt Taibbi wrote in an article over the weekend and I agree with him completely that as humiliating as the media debacle was leading up to the Iraq war, what they did over the last three years in the Trump-Russia story makes all of that look like a pimple. Even though obviously the Iraq war was much more destructive because it led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, the errors and lies and falsehoods and recklessness and speculation that we've been subjected to over and over and over that Robert Mueller just definitively debunked is far more humiliating journalistically, far more unjustifiably journalistically, and who knows where it will lead to. It's ratcheted up tensions between the two most dangerous nuclear armed powers in the world, Russia and the United States, that the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists says has brought us to two minutes before midnight on their doomsday clock. So it's also been extremely dangerous in ways that we don't yet know. Let me just say two things. Number one, everybody knows, and I don't care how many people try and rewrite history, that the central question that everybody was obsessed with for three years was did Donald Trump, his family members, and his aides conspire and collaborate and collude with the Russians to interfere in the election? It is absolutely false that Robert Mueller simply said there's not enough evidence to convict with a reasonable doubt. He said something much, much, much more important than that. He said that after 20 months of investigation with a huge team of FBI agents and prosecutors heralded as being the most aggressive and skilled in the world, we found no evidence that this happened. That's what Robert Mueller said. The whole thing was a scam and a fraud from the beginning. And the New York Times headline today says that as clearly as it can. Robert Mueller finds no collusion between Trump and Russia. That was the focal point of the entire narrative, no matter how much people try and change the focus. Rachel Maddow and MSNBC are the Judy Millers of this story, except unlike Judy Miller, who was scapegoated for doing things that her male colleague did and had her career destroyed, Rachel Maddow will continue to make $10 million a year for NBC because she's their most valuable brand and there will be no reckoning and consequences for this story that the media got radically, fundamentally, and deliberately wrong for almost three years now in a very dangerous way.